Everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go on how we are very very ill because of uh, the state of the globe. Okay, so uh, this is pretty much gonna be a very. Um, this is going to be a little talk on, on uh, global illness, okay, and, um, and why humanity is so uh, ill, once again, or so sick, okay, um, and, and how it's literally just a reflection of how we are treating the earth, okay, or how we are, um, it, it's like a reflection of our relationship with the globe, okay. So I'm going to get into this today. All right. Um, let's get right into this. So um, if you observe a little bit, you can obviously see that there is a lot of imbalance uh, nowadays. Okay, there's a lot of illness that is um, within humanity nowadays. Okay, and this is not uh, just physical illness. This is most definitely a psychological illness as well. Uh, if not more physical, then it is most definitely more psychological. And not only is it uh, just physical and psychological illness or disease, it is most definitely um, it is most definitely a uh, a disease of of soul, you know, or even our um, our energetical bodies are are damaged, you know, and it's very very. Um, because we are so sick or or because there's so much disease nowadays um it kind of makes you like like wonder why there's so much disease and, and not a lot of people a lot of people a majority of the people don't even really see this nowadays or they do see it and they don't want to deal with it so they kind of just ignore it completely and continue living within it but um but there it is there you know uh, and that's the truth of it there is a uh, imbalance this is disease okay and uh, you can see it all you can see it all over the world okay and it's um uh, it's manifesting itself most definitely in uh various different forms you know um this this disease that that humanity uh has contracted it's pretty much just uh, it's a reflection of how we are treating the globe, okay? Because the Earth, the globe is us. We are the globe. We are no different from the globe, okay? Uh, separation is an illusion. Uh, the whole thing about separation is that uh, our mind it does not. Um, I want to say register the space, you know, in between two individuals. It doesn't see the space as as a connective type of of uh, material material more so uh the mind it doesn't really uh see it as that you know and and it creates uh an illusion of separation okay um a concept of separation and and uh, as you start to dissolve away the concept of separation and you start to see that the ether or the space or kosh is literally connecting two individuals and is not even it's not um it's not separating people it's connecting people you know the kosh or the space or the ether is a extension of our physical body you know so we are literally all just one organism there's no separation at all the separation doesn't even exist okay 
um, and and we are all just uh, we're all one being, okay. And it's the same with the earth. The earth is literally us. And the whole thing uh, about this disease is that we are uh, we are are living out of harmony with the earth. And it's this simple. We're living in a very very uh, destructive way, okay, or a very very um, a very very uh, disharmonious way. This is the best word for it. We're living out of harmony with the the laws of nature, and um, this is ob you can see this with like uh, the heavy consumeristic lifestyle that has uh, modernized itself, you know, uh, we have pretty much destroyed plenty of the earth at this point. And due to the fact that we are destroying the earth, we are also destroying ourselves. Okay, and it's this simple. Because um, we are the earth, we are no we're no separate from the earth, we're no different from the earth. We're literally the earth's cells. Okay, we are making up the earth. All right, uh, we're almost like the skin cells of the earth, kind of, in a way. Uh, or maybe a different type of cell, you know, but we are the inhabitants of the earth. We are building up the earth. So the more we destroy the earth, the more um, we are just destroying ourselves, you know, and this is why there's so much disease and this is why there's so much sickness, um, because we're literally just making ourselves sick you know we're uh we're destroying the earth and and this is literally the most simple i can get with it since we're destroying the earth uh we're destroying ourselves okay uh we're treating the earth very very badly and um this is why people treat each other so badly nowadays because they're treating um the earth badly you know um the earth is a, is a, a living organism uh, like your living organism, the earth is no different from you, okay? The earth is uh, even more living than you, okay? So so uh, humanity has pretty much just began or has been destroying the earth. And uh, this is like feeding yourself, like it, they, we've been poisoning the earth. So it's like we've been poisoning ourselves in the same process, you know, uh, this is why people are, are pretty much on the verge of death or, or this is why we're in such low vibrational states or low states of life energy because the earth itself is being attacked, okay, like parasites. Um, and there is parasitic bodies, you know, uh, and these parasitic bodies are literally the societies. You know, the societies are like cancer on the earth. Okay, uh, they're overgrowing into everything and they're um, destroying everything in their overgrowth, you know, and, and humanity uh, within society is a reflection most often of that society. So we are literally just cancer cells, almost like the of the earth, you know, and uh, in this way, we're destroying the earth, but we're only destroying ourselves as a species because... Uh, the earth is intelligent enough to wipe out humanity if it if it needs to you know uh, the the earth's immune system could kick in any time you know uh and wipe out humanity all of humanity if it wanted to or it can target all of the the parts of humanity or all of the, the area of humanity which is doing the most damage to the earth you know, so, so it's this intelligent. Um, and once again, if it gets to that point, uh, the Earth's immune system will kick in very, very uh, rapidly, you know, and then it, it will just wipe out all the, the uh, all of the detriment to her health. So the Earth can sustain itself, you know, humanity um, at that point will die off very, very quickly, okay? Uh, maybe enough of humanity will be left to uh, generate itself back up to start again, you know, and this is like the, the simulation of things, but um, it also doesn't have to, it doesn't have to uh, go to, to an extinction, 
you know, it can also be retaliated. Um, and this is just if people kind of just observe a little bit more and see that that uh, we are living out of the laws of nature, you know, and, and because of this, we are destroying ourselves. We're making ourselves sick. So that kind of really is the Earth's immune system in a way, you know, because uh, the more we're attacking the Earth, we're attacking ourselves and we're just thinning the earth we're thinning our own population in that way you know uh but there's a lot there's also a, a lot of non-human force to uh take into account as well so um it co it can go deeper you know but most definitely uh we can at least change something within ourselves to be able to uh to be able to uh, start the process of healing the earth, you know, instead of just uh, killing it, you know, uh, so so however you treat yourself, you want to treat other beings or other creatures or other life forms, you know, you uh, wouldn't want to uh, completely attack on another life form uh, without any consciousness because it just doesn't benefit you, you know, unless you learn from it and you're able to make a change from, from learning from it. But other than that, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to immediately go and, and, you know, destroy something, uh, because you're only destroying yourself once again. Um, but the earth is great at renewing itself. So, I guess there's not too much to worry about or stress about, more so learn how to relax, learn how to ease up, uh, because ease is most definitely needed. You know, uh, disease is literally disease, so ease up, and maybe you can come to understand uh, that it's very, very simple to, to flip the whole thing, you know, flip the whole script from uh, absolute uh, detriment in status to uh, all is well and prosperous, you know, and the earth is also great at being able to do this due to the high intelligence of the earth, all right, uh, and humanity is also a very high intelligent uh, species, so it's not, um, once again, not something to, to take absolutely seriously, more so just understand to make uh, the small change within yourself to treat the earth better. And uh, the earth will most definitely treat you uh, as a god or as a goddess, you know. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know. So, so uh, you can find your state, in, you can find yourself in, in more healthier states of consciousness by uh, treating the earth a little bit better, you know, in, in whatever way you see fit to. Uh, just keep that understanding and uh, grow upon it, you know, as uh, you reflect and, and uh, continue to grow in that direction. And uh, it's very contagious once you are able to reach a certain point of being able to uh, bring in a more vibrant states of being. And uh, then people are going to also uh, pick up on this you know and then and then it kind of creates that butterfly effect so uh that's pretty much it for today's video once again do thank everybody for watching peace out one love and have a great afternoon